Welcome to another episode of It's As Simple As That. Ustedes son el futuro. Ustedes son futurísticos. And a wise man once said that we need to study the past if we are to define the future. That's why today we are going to learn how to talk in the past in Español. Lucky for you, since you already know how to talk in the present in Spanish, learning how to talk in the past is going to be muy fácil. Remember those three types of verb endings? You've got your AR, like preparar, you've got your ER, like comer, and you've got your IR, like vivir. You just focus on those last two letters, you chop them off, and you replace them with the appropriate new endings. Well, guess what? Your ability to talk in the present in Spanish transfers directly over to talking in the past. You just focus on those last two letters, you chop them off, and you replace them with the appropriate new ending. Well, let's take a closer look at an AR verb like hablar. You focus on the AR, you chop it off, and you replace it with the appropriate new ending. And the exact same thing goes for your ER and your IR verbs, like comer and vivir. Now forming the nosotros form in the past is extra simple. You'll notice that for AR and IR verbs in the past, they look identical to the nosotros form for AR and IR verbs in the present tense. One less conjugation for you to learn, my friend. As for verbs that end in ER, they're not so bad themselves. Their nosotros form in the past is identical to their next door neighbors. Chop off that ER and slap on that new ending. It's as simple as that. Just by the way, what's up with those accents? Do we really need to worry about those? Will you tell me? What would happen if I took the accent off hablo? It would look like this. Enough said. Let's try practicing a couple examples. I'm going to leave these notes here for your reference. Work with the person sitting directly next to you, or if you're watching from home, you can play both parts. Student one will ask the question, student two will respond. How about let's see an example first. Student one asks, what did you do yesterday? Que hiciste ayer? Ayer estudié en USD y enseñé español. ¿Y tú qué hiciste ayer? Ayer Cuide a nuestro hijo y preparé mucha comida para él. Mm. Let's try another example. ¿Bailaste esta mañana? Sí, bailé esta mañana. ¿Y tú bailaste esta mañana? No, no bailé esta mañana. Oh. Vamos a bailar. Ahora? Okay. Now you try. 
Student 1 will ask the following questions that appear over here. And you're going to ask those questions to student 2. And student 2 will respond. Now let's have student 2 ask the following questions that appear here, and student 1 will respond. Last one. Here is how you could have responded. Thanks for watching.